when that wind is cutting though, I ain't gonna lie. See that wind is what's making it seem cold out here. When that sun is still beaming down, keeping us warm. Or keeping the temperature down, I say. But all praises to the most high, let's head to the next job. Get this dollar dollar bill, y'all. Mm. But don't be a know-it-all. It don't look good on you. It don't look good on you. Matter of fact, it looks ugly. Like my mom would say, I, I, this been on my heart lately, that stinking thinking. See, you think you better than me because I made the mistake you're about to make. Oh, boy. And see, I'm trying to save you from the heartache, the years of heartache that you have to put in like I did. But if you would only listen and say, nope, I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do the same thing my pop did or my brother or sister did. I'm gonna follow that sound advice because I, I believe that's what it is. I believe they care enough for me to try to steer me in the right direction. And as I was saying, the most high is gonna put people in our path to steer us in the right direction if we would only listen. Oh boy, oh boy. Mm. If we would only listen. Just like one text says, I only believe. Only believe. Let me get my directions in order. song says continue on Reams Road for one mile everlasting arms and see I gotta mention this it's amazing how strong and powerful the most high is and I guess I should say it's amazing tapping into that power I said Robert how do I tap into that power that's a great question through prayer patience, obedience, but the main thing is obedience. Tapping into the obedience that he's calling you to, to follow. Or tapping into what he tells you to do. There in, 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 in turn comes the power. Because there in turn comes the next step. See, when you do what he tells you to do, he'll give you more information. He'll give you more directions. And when you're falling in line with what the most I tell you to do, you'll be just like Yahushua. You'll gain power. In a quarter mile, turn right onto West W.T. Harris Boulevard. And see, that's what it's all about. The power the most I can afford you to do what he's called you to do. Because it's coming. Definitely come with the power, the influence. Turn right onto West W.T. Harris Boulevard. And the people. And the tubes. 
See, that has been a big part of my prayer life. Continue on West L.U.T. Harris Boulevard for half a mile. Or request, Father, give me my tools. Give me my tools. Send me the people that I need to carry out my missions. And a lot of times the people are going to be there to shave off them rough edges. And it's not going to feel good. <clears throat> Pardon me. And see, what I've learned is the Most High is going to put you in situations that the confrontation can't be held. In a quarter mile, use the right lane to take the I-77 north ramp to Statesville. You're going to be put right in a position that neither you or the other person can help the situation from coming to a head. Use the right lane to take the I-77 north. And that's a good thing. Because, like I said, the Most High is going to have them shaving off them rough edges. Or you can basically say he's shaving off the rough edges through them individuals. But the whole point of it is, don't move, stay on that wheel. <laughs> oh boy. Talk about something painful. When you know that the misunderstandings couldn't be avoided, you ask yourself, this can't be nothing but the most high set me up. <laughs> this is a perfect setup. And I've said that a many a times of late. I wouldn't say a many a times, but I said that quite often late. A few times late. But it teaches you just to say, okay, Pop, no problem. I'm going to continue to remain in you and leaning on you. Because even though I'm going through this situation, I know you orchestrated it, so I'm going to remain. I'm going to stand through it. Like the text says, when you've done all the stand, continue to stand. Stand right there and take it. Because it's making a better man or woman out of you. Don't get that attitude talking about I know because you don't. Mm. Drop that off top when you're dealing with the most high because you don't know. Like the text says, his ways are so much higher than our ways and his thoughts so much higher than our thoughts. So he got to bring us up. As the old saying goes, he got to bring us up to speed. And bringing us up to speed means we need to be, uh, what's the word? I forget the word they use, like in the military. Brief. He has to brief you on the going zone. And what a brief is, is it's a basic quick breakdown of what's going on, what the situation is. And see, a lot of times in that brief, we're getting a whole lot of information quick that most of the time we don't want to hear. A lot of times it's going to be bad news. But we got to handle it, take it, and walk it out, whatever we need to do. Because after the brief, we get our orders. Or should I say, within the brief, we're getting our orders. Learn the situations, the problems, and then he comes back with the answer and say, walk this out. And see, I've learned that a lot of times in the brief, pardon me, within that brief, we get information we don't want. But we take that initial blow, it gets easier. Because as the plan comes to us, we start seeing clearer how we're perfect for the operation. Hmm. And we're perfect for the mission. Hallelujah. See, the whole point is, don't get that attitude that you know. Don't be a know-it-all. Because like I said, that turns into the spirit of pride. Continually saying, I know, I know every time somebody address you and say, I know. 
that's when you done got pride in your heart. And it's gonna be very hard for anybody to tell you anything. Mm. I've had to ask the individual, who are you gonna listen to? <laughs> oh boy, are you gonna listen to anybody? Or is it anybody you will listen to? And that's a sad place to be when you won't you listen to nobody. Because the most high is putting a lot of people in your lane. Or he's putting your loved ones in your lane or in your path to whisper to you what you need to hear. But see, when you won't even listen to your loved ones, you setting yourself up for a great fall. And that text says a haughty spirit. Mm. That means you start looking down on people with this thing. What are you trying to tell with somebody what to do? Look what you did. Mm. And I've used this example before. And don't take it the wrong way. But everybody needs to use toilet paper. But we all have to use toilet paper. So that will give us an understanding of what I'm saying without saying it. Everybody got to take the time to do that. And a lot of times it's, it's just something that has to be done. You can't avoid it. It's, a, it's part of life. Just like I was saying, the most I would set you up in a situation with other people where they, they have to shave them edges off. Like, mm, I can't back away from this advice or this individual because the Most High is telling me to sit my tail down and listen. Mm. And what a bad feeling when the Most High got you right in a place where you can't move without blatantly disobeying his voice. Now he like, you know you hear me, do what I tell you to do. Sit right there and take it. Mm. But see, that'll break that I know, I know it all attitude that haunting spirit because you see that um thank you father you see that the war war scars you hear that testimony the most high starts showing you see you was you just like he was but how did he get over the hump obedience sitting right there and taking it when he didn't want to Smiling a fake smile when you don't when you want to grit. Just smile. <laughs> and they got a, a word for it for it in the military. It's called a boo-boo eating green. And that ain't the exact words for it. They call it a boo-boo eating green. Where you have to eat boo-boo and smile through. It. And you see that's another good teacher, but the military. I wouldn't join them for, for anything, but like I said, I joined the Junior ROTC and I learned a whole lot of good life lessons through that time, but in that time, through Junior ROTC, you can leave it like that. And a lot of it I had to sit there and take even then because it was recommended to me by my father. See, my father expected his children, his sons, to join the military, which my brother did. But I was like, I'm not joining this. I knew during ROTC that that was something I didn't want to be a part of. And I praise the Most High that I didn't become a part of it, which at the same time, I'm going to leave it like that. But I say all praises to the Most High. You got to trust Him and trust His work in your life. As I said, stay on the wheel. Don't be a know-it-all. And see, this is just advice coming from somebody who's been down through there. Mm. And what I mean by going down through there, 
you from the streets, you know how it feels to be down through there. When you have got to the place where you put yourself in the worst, worst predicaments you could have put yourself, and there's no way out but to go on down through there. Take it. They call it laying in the bed you made for yourself. And that's not a fun thing. When the bed you made for yourself is hard. <laughs> Very hard. And intense. Mm. But see, if we won't listen to sound advice through word, then you will listen through deed, through action, through with it. Rod of correction. <laughs> the text says, spare not the, don't spare the rod, you'll spoil the child. So in saying that, the most high don't spare no rod. He, he got to put the rod down. Oh boy, that's my exit. I gotta get on through this traffic. I don't know why this joke is sitting over in the fast lane. Big truck in the past like a chip. Going to speed limit. Everybody else said, slide past. What you doing, man? Get your tail over. That's going nowhere. He passed one truck. And it was going slower than him. Now he gonna stay there instead of getting on out of the way. See, that's how people are. They don't care about nobody else but themselves. Self. Like I said yesterday, and yesterday start dirty, stinking thinking. Just nasty. Don't let people wait. You see all this traffic out here? But all praises to the most high. Don't be a know it all. Like the text says, submit to the most high. And my best advice, as somebody, like I said, that has been down through it, take the advice of the folks the most I put in your life. And as we said yesterday, <clears throat> listen to those leaders that the most I put in front of you to follow. And listen to these folks. So if not, you're going to have to listen to the actions. And see, a lot of times those actions, you're going to really have to sit down most high seems somewhere to sit down for a year or so to make sure you get the lesson then. And what I mean by that is jail, jail or prison. Like I said, jail or prison. And I had to spend time at both. I had to give I had to give up a whole year of my life locked down because I didn't want to listen to lessons. And then another chunk of my life on parole. Actually, I ain't gonna say that because it's not as bad as being locked down, but it's close because you're definitely restricted. But if we restrict ourselves and discipline ourselves by the advice, the sound advice we're hearing from our family and our close friends, then we won't have to put in that hard, receive that hard discipline. In a quarter mile, turn left onto North Carolina 115 North. That's gonna be my time. I thought I'd come back and share that since most I had it so heavy on my heart. Because see, that's what it's all about. Like the text says, each one teach one or the same goes. Each Turn one teach one. North Carolina 115 North. It's always good to share your experiences, your testimony with other folk. If you have something to say, say it. Don't hold back on them um, ideas and them thoughts. 
that's what Maury Harris was saying. He, he was like, if you have a testimony or a word of encouragement, share it. You never know how it affects other folks. But I'm going to go and mentally get myself prepared for this job. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with folk. More than likely them folks out here. <laughs> but all praises to the Most High. I thank the Most High that we have good, kind-hearted individuals to work with. And they throw a little tip in there too. <laughs> Shalom.